Welcome back to another edition of Smifter's Toppish Time. Woo! Kinnear has finally left the club. It's about time to, driven to the exit door by some sections of the, of the Newcastle crowd. Uh, we've got the celebrations, we've got the champers as well. You know, he's been an embarrassment since he walked into the club and it brings to an end an eight-month tenure as a director of football at St James's Park. He has been an embarrassment. And not only has he embarrassed the club, he's embarrassed himself, the fat mess. Um, you know, just off the top of my head, he tried to sign a player who already played for the club, um, consistently got players' names wrong, um, including, of course, Johan Kebab, who was sold by the club, Mike Ashley and Joe Kinnear. And the, and the upsetting thing is, no one was brought in to replace Kabai. And Alan Pardew, who's doing terrifically well in the circumstances with the team, eighth in the league, it would just be nice to see Mike Ashley show a bit of ambition uh, and push on. Maybe, you know, heaven forbid, challenge for a European place. But oh no, that would mean probably investing more money in the team um, to cope, you know, in a, in a few more competitions. It would be nice to see a cup run. It would be nice to go to Wembley. But the, the fact of the matter is, Mike, you need to walk. You need to walk away um, in order for the club to go forward. And I speak on behalf of a lot of fans when I say that, a lot of men. I see Gus Poyet in the, in the opposition dugout, who was able to bring in a player like Bridcut, um, who was a player he identified from, from his tenure at Brighton, a player who he knew well. Um, and, you know, I'd like to see Alan Pardew with his eight-year contract and Graham Carr with his eight-year contract, of course. The two of them together must be able to identify players to take the club for, to take the team forward. That's what I'd like to see happen. Ditch the director of football. But good performance by Sunderland. We won't go uh, into it any further than that. Because there was a lot of other terrific games happening this weekend. Namely at the Etihad. And a tactical masterclass from Jose Mourinho. What a performance from Chelsea. Matic. <sighs> Nemanja Matic has been brought back. Um, it's a shame they sold him in the first place, to be honest. But yeah, great performance by Chelsea. Defensively astute. And also terrific going forward. Players bombing up and down. Willie and Hazard um, and Ramirez as well. But yeah, no space for Silva to play. And of course, Demi Chalis, um playing made a big difference. He can't even play in defence, let alone in midfield. Um, no Fernandinho. His legs were sorely missed in midfield. Um, at Chelsea, you know, Mourinho always likes, likes to talk down his team's chances. He knows what he's doing. The fact of the matter is they're two points behind Arsenal. They are right in the mix. Before I go any further, Chico Flores, there you go, mate. There's your award for the weekend, for your performance in East London, for, for your six-roll um, dramatic display, clutching your face, getting Andy Carroll sent off. It was a battle of the man buttons, wasn't it, at times? Um, pulling each other's hair like a cat fight. But, but it's really nice to see Andy Carroll back. I'm unfortunate that he got sent off. I hope that's rescinded, but there was a flailing arm. But Carroll and Nolan back in full effect. And, you know, reminds me of seeing them two boys perform up on Tyneside. Really good performance from West Ham. And I said they'll be OK, and I'll still stick with that. Fulham, on the other hand, they will not be OK. Um, they were outplayed by Southampton. Slick play from Southampton from the English players. He's off to Brazil. He's off to Brazil. Ricky Lambert. He's off to Brazil. But is he off to Brazil? Um, this is a stat I've dug up from this weekend's play. Very interesting stat. 24 goals scored this weekend, 16 of them by British players, 10 of them by English players. There's, some, there's a few places, of course, up for grabs on the plane. And here's a few players who I think are still in with a chance. The Ox, Sterling, Adam Johnson, Adam Lallana, Ricky Lambert, Danny Welbeck, I think will go. Jermaine Defoe, Aaron Lennon, Andros Townsend, Ashley Young, Jay Rodriguez. Who's going to book their flight on the plane? Please get at me, Smith or official. But hang on a minute, Brendan Rodgers, who's that? <laughs> who's that old Doris? Smith to stop his time.